All right then, so this build project is looking pretty good. The last real thing we need to do is save the build when a user presses S. So to do that, we're going to create another receiver function, so a function associated with build types. So down here, we'll say save build, and then we'll do a function, which is a receiver function. We're taking a pointer to the build, and I'm going to call this save. We don't take in any arguments and we don't return anything. Now, I want to save these bills inside a bills folder. So I've created a bills folder already. That's where we're going to save these text files. Now, when we're saving a file or saving data to a file, we need to save the data in byte slice format or a slice of bytes, if you like. So what I'm going to do is create a variable called data and I'm going to set it colon equal to a slice of bytes. Now we want to turn our formatted string right here of the bill into a byte slice. So to do that, we can just use parentheses right here and then pass in b.format like so. So we format the bill, we get a string back and then we turn that into a byte slice and we're storing that inside the data variable. So now we have this byte slice, we can save it to a file. And to do that, we'll be using the OS package. So we can say os.write file like this. And remember, we need to import the OS package. So it's auto imported for me. And then inside this write file method, there's three arguments. The first one is going to be, where do we want to save this file? Well, we want to go into the bills folder, then forward slash, and we're going to tack on to this. So plus b.name, which is the name of the build that we gave the bill at the very start. And then at the end, we tack onto that dot txt. So we're going to save a text file. That's the first argument. The second argument is the data. And the third argument is the permissions, which is going to be 0644. All right, then. So this is basically how we write a file. Now, this returns to us an error if there is one. So we'll say error is colon equal to this. Now, what we want to do is check, is there an error? So if error is not equal to nil, then that means there is an error. And what we're going to do is use a function called panic, which is basically a way to stop the flow of the program and print out an error. And we're going to pass that error into the panic function. All right, then. Otherwise, we'll say fmt.print line, and we'll say bill was saved to file, like so. All right, so what we need to do now is call this save function from over here where we choose the S. So I'm going to say down here, B dot save like so. And I'll say you save the file. And then I'll do the name. So B dot name right here. All right, so let's give this a whirl. I'm going to open up the terminal make this a little bigger, clear out the console. And then I'm going to run the file. All right, so the name, we'll call it Luigi's Bill. And then add an item, pi, we'll say that's 750. And then we'll add another item, cake, we'll say that's 450. And then add another item, coffee, and we'll say that's 299. And then we'll do a tip, five, and then finally save it and we can see the bill was saved to file and if we take a look over here there's a new file luigi's bill and if we cross this off it's the formatted bill right here pretty good right so let me do one more example to show we can create multiple bills i'm going to clear the console then i'll run the file again and then we'll give this a name of mario's bill and then we'll add an item the item is going to be veg stew and this is going to be 6.99 then we'll add another item this is going to be toffee pudding and the price is going to be 5.25 and then add a tip which is going to be seven and then we'll save the bill and we can see mario's bill over here now and we can see that bill formatted as well all right so there's one more topic i want to talk about in this series and that is interfaces. So we'll talk about that next.